What's going on everyone? I'm your host Mike Nickus and you're watching The Week in Neurodiversity. Opening this week is a story out of Tennessee where an entrepreneur with Asperger's has launched a food truck business to give jobs to those with disabilities. Funded by Money Saved and an entrepreneurship award of 12 grand, she plans to launch a food truck called Teresa's Twists, Pretzels with a Purpose. That purpose, putting people with disabilities to work who can suffer from depression without something to do. I tend to lack a bit of that purpose myself when I'm not in school because without it, I tend to wander a bit. We want to help build self-confidence and also build, especially for people with autism, um, the social skills and the communication skills and the job skills. And we'll follow that up with a new study on autism, which documents how the brain changes over time and how early intervention may be beneficial. Researchers at Barrow and Sark have launched a longitudinal study, a study over time, to document brain changes in autistic adults. There are subtle differences between uh, typically developing individuals and subtle differences across age groups that will turn around and inform what we need to do in, by way of treatment to help uh, individuals live more independently for longer periods of time. Over at the University of Pennsylvania, two seniors have created a company that makes wearable sensors that track the movements of the limbs for people with movement disabilities. It's a network of wearables that patients wear throughout the day and their physical therapist is able to monitor their activity in between their therapy sessions. Patients can take this information and figure out exactly how they need to adjust their everyday activities to improve their everyday life. Now let's move over to Utah where moms are coming together to hike in a battle against postpartum depression. The climb is symbolizing the healing from postpartum mood and anxiety disorders because healing is not linear and it's not flat. It's, it feels like one day you have a good day, the next day you have a few bad ones. It symbolizes me overcoming that depression and um, climbing out of the darkness, proving that I'm okay and that I, I am a good mom even though I suffered a mental illness. Next up, Shark Tank star Kevin O'Leary talks about growing up with dyslexia. That's when a teacher came to him with a new theory, one that would help Kevin overcome his learning disability. Their thesis went like this. This is not a fault. You have a superpower. And when you're that young, you buy into that. It gives you the confidence you need. And that's what occurred to me. She gave me that confidence. And what better way to finish this week than with this heartwarming story? Thomas Cullen, a young man with Down syndrome, was having trouble finding employment and posted a heartfelt video plea. And soon after, the young man was hired to work in his dream job. My message for the water mill is great of me here, great people, and they're nice and caring. And if you're looking for something new to watch, then be sure to check out the channel Everything Toys Autism because not only is it an insightfully entertaining channel worth checking out, but 50% of the profits go to early childhood intervention programs such as Kids on the Move and Giant Steps Autism Preschool. So be sure to click the link at the end of this video. That wraps it up for this episode. Which story caught your eye the most? Be sure to let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and remember, you keep advocating and we'll keep bringing the news.